Welcome back friends, this is Ramesh Sharma here. So today in this video we are going to set up the project as in the previous video I gave up the overview to you like what we are going to do but project we are going to create in the upcoming series. So finally the wait is over so this one is the first video. So in this video we are going to set up the full project with the help of Next.js, Tailwind CSS, AppRide and TypeScript. So without wasting any time, so let's get into the coding section and let's set up the project quickly with the components that we have to create. So we will create the empty components and after that let's start working on the UI in the next video. This one is the empty folder. So here we will set up our project. So first of all let's open the terminal under this project. So I will right click and open the terminal here. Now I will be using yarn to create a simple next app. So for that what I am going to do. So I am going to type yarn create next app next hyphen app and what will be the app name here. So as I want to create the whole files under this folder only so that's why I will type dot here. And after that we need the typescript also. So for that we have to uh, pass the option here. So that option we will pass hyphen hyphen ts or hyphen hyphen type script. Just press enter. So this is fetching the create next app first and then it will create the app for you. So now it is asking us some questions. Would you like to use ESLint with this project? Yes. Simply press enter and then do you want to use Tailwind CSS? Yes, we want to use Tailwind CSS. Simply we will press yes here because Next.js uh, come with uh, Tailwind CSS by default. So that's why it is asking you if you want to use that or not. Yes, we want to use that and we don't have to install the Tailwind explicitly. So that's why we are going to press yes here. And then we need the source directory. So here we are going to work with the app router. So previously we were working with the page router. So now Next.js 13 introduced this app router as well and it is also recommended. But some people also use page router. So here we are going to use app router. So I will tell you from scratch how we can utilize the app router. Simply press yes. So now it is asking if you want to customize the alias or not. So I will simply press no. So by default the it will be uh, same. So now you can see that it is installing the dependencies and we have types also. This this means that we have set up the TypeScript correctly. So this option we have passed correctly. So now let's wait for the dependencies to be installed. So this will depend upon your system speed as well as on your internet speed. Now project is created successfully. So our next step is created successfully here. And now when I will go here. So let's first of all clean this app. So for that I have to open this code in the text editor. As I am in this project folder under the terminal. So I will be using VS code. So you can download the VS code. So if you haven't downloaded that. So for that I am going to press uh, type code and space dots and press enter. So this will open the VS code for you. So now uh, we have opened this in VS code and now let's go to the source folder. So this one is the folder structure of Next.js and here you can see in the app router. So in the source we have app folder here. So as we are using app router so that's why we have app folder. Otherwise if we were using the page router so then we will be having the pages folder instead. So here what we are going to do here. So here first of all let's remove all the CSS because we don't need any CSS here. So as Tailwind is already applied so we will be uh, only keeping this three lines keeping these three lines and then removing all. So remove all and just save it. And now let's move forward and here we don't need any fabricon so uh, so I'm going to delete it. 
and then let's go to the layout so you can see that this layout is good but we have to change the title so let's change the title to next.js app write crud with login system so this one is for the SEO purpose and then we have a root layout so every page or every page will be having means every route will be having the this layout dot tsx and page dot tsx page so this layout is the whole global layout of the application and you can see that we have html we have body and you can add more things so if you want to add here and then we have a page so this one is the entry point of our next.js application so that is page dot tsx so here this one is the main page file so this one is the index file of our whole application so here what i'm going to do so i'm going to delete this all code just i need the main here and here i'm going to write h1 so that is next.js app write so it will be app write crud with login system just save this and here also spellings are wrong just save this now you can see that we have target config as well we have ts config as well and everything is implemented already so we don't have to do configurations more so now we have to install the dependencies those we need and after installing those and after setting up those dependencies so we are going to start our server and we will turn with the project setup so now let's move forward and install the required dependencies those we need for this application we are going to install two more dependencies so one is app right so app right we are going to use the cloud version so this we are going to use as a backend as a service it is the alternative of the firebase so we are going to do authentication and database and creating the documents in this app right only so for that we have to install two dependencies so first of all one dependency uh, is for the app right web sdk so because we are going to use app right so that's why we need the web sdk for that so for that we are going to use app right web sdk and we are going to install this like this app right and then this we can extract client account database storage that type of different sub sdks from this whole main bundle and after that we are going to set up the client we are going to set up the initialize our web sdk so for that we have to create a cloud project create a cloud account and after that we have to create a cloud project here and then second dependency we need react toastify to show the toast messages we have to use this react toastify so now without wasting it any time so let's install these dependencies so i have opened the terminal and simply type here yarn at app write and uh, sorry not and space so here we are going to type react toastify just press enter so this will install these two dependencies for you so all the dependencies are installed successfully now first of all set up the app write cloud and the app write sdk in our application and after that we are going to set up the react toastify in our application so here you have to go to app write.io and sign in or sign up so when you will done sign in and sign up you will be redirected to the onboarding page and here you have to add your project name so let it be next.js so next.js is our project name and we have a project id here so now open the notepad and here you have to copy the project id so just here you can enter your project id as well otherwise it will be like uh, automatically added for you so for now i will not add this project id so i will just click on simply create project so this will create us the app right uh, project id automatically so let's wait for the creation of the project here so now our project is successfully created so now we have to copy this project id copy it and 
paste it over here. So please don't use my project ID here. So as uh, it is blur for you, uh, please don't use this project ID. So use your own project ID. So here now we have to add a platform to set up our SDK. So for that, what we are going to do? So we are going to add the web app here. So just simply press this icon and name the web app. So that will be next.js app right grid. And after that, we will be having the local host here. So local host, host name will be the local host. And then click on next. So here it is saying us like you have to get the SDK. So we have already installed the SDK here. And using this client, you can set up your app, right? So now click on next. So this one is your app, right? Project ID. And this one is a your end point. So I'm not going to uh, show the project ID for you. So simply you have to click on this copy button here. So this code will be copied from you. And then just go here and go in the source, in the source create a new folder name as config. So here we will be having all the configurations. So let's add app write dot config dot js so uh, ts so this will be our configuration file for the app right so here first of all you have to import client from app right so it is app right a will be small and then we have imported the client here so here we have to create the set up the sdk here so just copy and paste the code here so now we have this one here client new client and after that we have set up this project id set up the client successfully so now what you have to do so just you have to export default the client here so export default the client so now our app ride setup is done successfully but we haven't set up the cloud yet so we have done the setup of the configuration of the app ride with our project but we are not done with the auth and getting the database so that we are going to do in the next video in the next video i will tell you how to set up the auth on the cloud and after that we will move forward to the database now simply press next and take me to the dashboard so now we have set up the web app also here so you can see bandwidth request and everything in the dashboard for that particular web app you can add another other platforms as well so now from here we can set up the auth and we can set up the database here so that we will create the database and we will set up the auth in the upcoming respective videos so that you can understand it time to time and step by step. So we have done uh, with the setup, basic setup of the app right and app right cloud. So now let's set up the react hosty file. So when you will go to the react hosty file, so what it is saying, so it is saying first you have to install the react hosty file. So that we have done here. And then we have to import the toast container from the react hosty file and also we have to import the CSS. So now we are using Next.js. So where we are going to do this? So we are going to do this in the layout page. So in the layout page, we are going to do this. So for that, what we are going to do? So first of all, we are going to import this. So that is toast container. So we don't have to import this toast. So only we want the toast container and then the toast file. So here, what we are going to do? So we have imported the CSS as well as the toast container here. So in the children, in the children, we are going to set up the toast container and just save it. So this we have set up the React Toastify in the next JS. So now we are done with our project setup. So for today, this is enough. If you have any queries, space quantum transaction, I will definitely respond to that. And in the next video, we are going to start with the UI of the login system and then we are going to complete the functionality. 
so i hope you like this video please like subscribe and share thank you for watching